Hello, my heroes, and welcome now to Thursday. Well, still sunny and very passionate today, but there's a chance you could end up really biting your tongue. That's because the moon today is trining Pluto, which is in the house of belief structure. Now, we haven't talked about this too much. I want to bring it up just a little bit. Pluto has been in your belief structure sector of consciousness since 1996. And guess what? In January of 2008, everything shifts. Your lessons are complete. Your belief structure will be in place. And you are sewing up, really, in the next two and a half months or so, the final details of Aries' new operating system. Use Windows, use Mac, use whatever you want as an analogy. But that's what it is, what you believe in and how things will operate according to those beliefs. So today, with the moon actually trining Pluto and the moon in Aries making you feel lots more confident and lots more passionate, there's a chance where you may have to kind of swallow your pride for a second because you're really undoing old ego. Pluto is always the planet of death, so it's out there killing the old Aries, and it may take a little bit of an embarrassing moment for you to actually come to those terms. Now, moving around the solar system, the sun today, two degrees Scorpio, still in the chapter one of Scorpio. You might find yourself extra passionate in the next 24 hours around border issues. If someone crosses a line, mm, I think you might be more mode accidentally, so be cautious to that. Then also I want to point out Mercury retrograde. Now remember, we talked about Mercury and the Sun conjuncting dead at zero degrees when the Sun went into Scorpio, but we haven't talked about the fact that Mercury is now retrograding Libra. That means that for the next two weeks or so, until 11-11-2007, you're going to find that you're rethinking relationships at a higher octave, really, really thinking it from a new perspective, from the inside out while simultaneously plying through boundary issues. So, if you thought you are in the perfect situation, or if you thought you had the perfect friend, or whatever you thought was in perfect place, realize the universe has got a few more details to unveil in the next two weeks for you, Aries, about who you should be marrying, whether that's business, friendship, or romantic. All right, Aries, that's all we have for Thursday. See you tomorrow with the weekend forecast. Live, love, V. So good.